Hey, welcome back. We're doing a, I don't know, a chat review talking about From, a very nondescript TV series title of a series that started in 2022 and it's kind of classified as science fiction and horror. I would put it more toward the horror category. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of a mystery as well. And um, if you're familiar with, you know, some, I don't know, uh, a lot of the um, anthology, not anthologies, huh? long running series of, you know, mystery science fiction kind of stuff, you'll kind of relate to this series a bit. So I thought the best way to kind of give you an intro is just to give you a clip of the show. So let's go here and let's give this a run. That's a, a little clip of From. And so, yeah, what can I tell you about From without giving away the whole story? Well, From is apparently an MGM Plus production. From the executive producers of Lost. So if you're feeling, you know, you got a little bit of a Lost vibe to this show, there's a good reason. And yeah it's weird um but what's even weirder it's not from mgm it's from epics now if you know epics and what they've done uh what stands out in my mind recently was war of the worlds when they did a kind of a redo of that um they did a great job in it in the first season or two it kind of went long but um what i noticed about epics is they have a good handle on how to use existing uh, locations and sets so you don't have to spend a lot of money on the sets and the locations you just find a rundown town you kind of rent the town and that creates an eeriness to it and then you just pepper in little things that doesn't cost you a ton of money to do but are kind of sinister and and uh, you know you know, you can. There's there's a way of making just a regular person seem really weird, and the these guys got a good handle on that that end of things. So, you know, it's about this weird town. It's about this dude here who we're calling Boyd Stevens, and uh, he's actually an actor by the name of, um, and of course, it involves an RV. And a family as represented in that picture and this weird little town and kind of the main characters are Boyd Stevens a father by the name of Jim and his wife Tabitha and their daughter and their son and then all the inhabitants of the, of the town um, so here's Boyd Stevens played by Harold Perno, Perno, I guess that's how you pronounce his name. I'm not good with French, so sorry. Apologize in advance for slaughtering any French names I might pronounce. But anyhow, 
this fella here, Harold, he's uh, he's kind of like the sheriff and mayor of the town. And uh, yeah, and there's a diner, rundown diner, and some old houses. And uh, apparently, this was shot in Eastern Canada. I think it was shot. Let's see if I can figure that out. Um, <clears throat> location. I think it was Nova Scotia. Let's see here. Yep, Nova Scotia, Canada. So that's Eastern Canada. I've never been there myself. I live in Western Canada, but you know, it looks interesting. And uh, kind of a creepy little town they got going on here. And uh, yeah, so these people are kind of trapped in a town and uh, nobody really knows why. And it's like a forest, you know, surrounded by forests and it's, uh, yeah, it's been kind of affected by something going back a while based on the cars and stuff and the show and the people in the town and what's gone on has not been a good thing. And, you know, there's these other characters they introduce, kind of like, you know, side characters. There's the father. This, you know, who is struggling with this weird circumstance, and the mother, and the and the the impressionable daughter, and the son, and if you feel lost, well, it's because there's definitely a connection between from and lost. In fact, even uh, Mr. Um, what's his name here? Almost lost his name here. Harold Perrineau. Uh, he, yeah, he was in Lost, right there. So, you know, he's has a history with Lost. And he's kind of redoing a Lost, but in a town this time. He's lost in a town. And, um, yeah, it has weird monsters, as you can tell. And, um, you know, I'm going to say something about the whole this whole story. It's, it's not even. It's not even. It's not even. Uh, it's not the most even show like there's some episodes that are really good and then there's some episodes that are a little lost frankly their pacing's a little slow they don't seem to go anywhere not they don't seem to advance the plot much but there are other episodes where you know scary monsters right so these are not in the show but i think there's something that's common about all those monsters that we're seeing here in this picture it's the teeth right the teeth are scary and these uh, the monsters they have in this show, they definitely have teeth and they are pretty damn scary right there. So uh, yeah, there's, they definitely create a good um, scary creature in the dark thing. It only seems to come out at night and you're wondering who are they? Why are they like this? What are, what's their reason for you know they're not breaking through windows you have to invite them in more or less um, so what's the story with them it's very weird um, so I'm hoping certainly that it progresses I've only watched the first few uh, three or four episodes and I'm hoping that they progress this story through so that we're not the end of the whole thing kind of scratching our heads going I'm lost just like in lost where it goes season after season not really answering anything or even they did that with the X-Files where season after season they didn't answer any of the mysteries and then it just kind of like ends and you go oh well still don't know what the hell's going on here so that's my uh, my first impressions of From it was released in 2022 apparently it's got another season I'm still working on the first season right now 10 episodes per season and you know I like um, I like Harold's uh, acting and his performance he's definitely the carrying the show so far uh, the other char the other actors do do a, you know fine job but this guy has some uh, acting credentials behind him so he seems to be able to carry the show for a lot of the uh, excuse me a lot of this the episodes so anyway I'm, I'm enjoying it it's uh, it's kind of like light, you know, fair. 
It is pretty scary, though, i got to admit. Like, I remember seeing one episode and kind of like going to, you know, I watched it just before I went to bed, and then it's like having like weird dreams about creepy people come and get me at night. So <laughs> that doesn't happen too often, so I'm, I'm pretty impressed with the fact they could do that with a show like this. So, you know, I'm happy that um, they carry, they're carrying this thing off. So, um, yeah, if you want to watch something interesting, watch from and I'm sure you can find episodes of it um, on cable or look around on the internet archive and thanks for listening and I'll talk to you in the next one bye